And we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to create a printer icon in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure you've got Snap to Point and the Smart Guides activated, nothing else. You've got a black stroke and a white fill. And I use the rectangle tool. Let me deselect that, I hold Ctrl and I click. And I create a second rectangle. I press V for the selection tool, select them both and align them to the center. We need to rectangle tool again and the smart guides help us finding the correct position on the left and right. I'll make that a bit smaller. Maybe I'll make this smaller as well. I hold on when I do so and I use the selection tool V for that. Maybe I'll make this a little bit longer. Now we've got a good place to start. And again, I use the drag angle tool to drag a small rectangle over here. Let me zoom in, I hold Alt and use the mouse wheel for that. And I press A for the direct selection tool. I click on the top right anchor point and I drag the curvature inwards just slightly. I'll press B, select it, hold Alt, and as I drag a copy out of it, I'll reposition that to the left hand side. Once again, the smart guides help me, but you can see the curvature is not placed correctly, so I select it, right click, transform, reflect. Make sure vertical is selected, and in a preview, you can see what you're doing, then press OK. Alright, that looks good. Once again, the direct selection to A comes into play and I drag a curvature over here for the paper. Now I use the pen tool. Follow the path until you find the anchor point. You can see that here, there's an anchor point. If you hold shift, your path will snap in 45 degree increments and use the smart guides to find the correct position horizontally. Then go over to the right and click again on the anchor point. We need to work on the curvature once more, so direct select to A, select the anchor point, drag in the circle. Now we use the line segment tool and again I hold shift so that it snaps in 45 degree increments and get it positioned correctly. Let us create another line over here. And I'll align it to the center. Now we need a couple more. I'll drag one, then I hold Alt, use V the selection tool, drag a copy out of it, hold Shift when I do so, so that it's in the same position vertically, and then I press Ctrl D. I align them all to the center. And that looks good. We've got almost everything done. Let us create a curvature right here as well. You can play around with the stroke size, for example, add that to individual elements, like so. But I like to keep it the same size, so I select it all. And then I use the stroke menu. There is no right or wrong here, just use what you like. Select it all, open your stroke menu on the window, stroke you will find that. And you can see what happens if I make the caps round. And if you've got problems with your alignment, use the align stroke menu. You can see that over here. I have it aligned to center. It solves most of the problems. And now you can change the appearance if you just hold Alt and resize it, you can make it slimmer or thicker, whatever you want to have as an icon. 
I like it like this. But I can see that I haven't hit the perfect spot here on top. Let me select that. I can play around with the caps and achieve the results that I want. Corners doesn't really help here. But if I press Ctrl Y, I can see that I haven't positioned the anchor point correctly. So Ctrl Y activates the outline mode. Let me press A for the direct selection tool. And I reposition that anchor point to the path. And I press Ctrl Y to turn the normal view on again. And we're done. This is how you can create this print icon in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.